So you feel like extensions come really hard to your hands. Or maybe you have started playing the guitar when you were an adult and you feel like you have rather stiff fingers and stretches are really not your thing. If that's the case, keep watching because I have for you some very easy exercises that will start unlocking all this stiffness that you feel in your fingers without having to go through very heavy or dangerous stretching exercises. Not only this, the nature of this exercise, if done well, so pay attention to how I'm positioning the hand as we go through the video, might help you a lot to get a much better left hand positioning and arm movement. I also made a PDF with the exercises so that you can have the written exercises for your practice. If you want to download it, click on the link in the description and we'll bring you to my website and from there you can download it. So let's go! Before we start, please feel free to like and share the video if you enjoy my content or consider subscribing and click the bell here down below to know where there are new tutorials for you to watch. If you think you're taking a lot of value from my content, consider becoming a patron because there you will have access to the academy and all the content that we have already available, all the replays of the live streams and you can participate in the future live streams and you can interact and I can help you in a more personal way with your struggles. Enough rambling around, let's go to the exercise. This exercise is based on two different ternary fingerings, which basically means that the fingerings are in patterns of three notes and they're used very, very, very much throughout repertoire. Actually, it's just the ABC of guitar playing. <laughs> So really, no matter which piece you're playing or which style you're playing, if you play guitar, you do need to feel comfortable with these two combinations. The first one is 1, 2 and 4, and the second 1, 3 and 4. Now, because this tutorial is for you to start developing stretch and flexibility, we will also add the 1, 2, 4, but with stretch. So we have 1, skip fret 2, and then 4. So in reality, here we don't skip anything because there would go the third, but here we are skipping one fret, so we have this composition. You might ask, but why not 3-4 stretch as well? Well, despite being a very valid fingering for many situations, surely in some polyphonic pieces where the second finger is minding some business here in the basses, whenever we need to cover two full steps, we rather have the strongest option for our hand. So in this case, it comes the most natural for most of people, not for everyone, but for most of us, the 1, 2 and 4. So the exercise is the following. We will start on the third fret and we will play the first four degrees of G major combining these three fingerings. Notice the fact that as you need the fourth finger every time, you will be forced to have a quite horizontal position instead of something like this or something like that, but I don't see how that's happening to anybody. And you can repeat this pattern in all the strings. With this you get to practice all the three different patterns being combined one after the other. Again, this is not really a massive stretch, but because you need to alternate from one to the other, you start to train your hand to gain the mobility to be from the standard position of one finger per fret to expand a little bit. But if you feel like you're struggling now to remember which one comes next, I would suggest you to do some practice of each individual pattern first. <laughs> Once you have no problem switching over one fingering to the other, go ahead and play this exercise on all strings. Now you thought that was it, right? No. 
You know guys I always give you something to challenge yourself otherwise how can you get better and given that this is a very elementary exercise I will give you some variations to practice a little bit further. The first one will be for you to play it as a slur so instead of playing all the notes you will play the first and the other ones will be the fingers hammering on the string. Make sure when you play this version that everything is clean and clear. And when you're doing the descending slurs, make sure that you don't pull the finger too far away from the fretboard. You should always remain hovering over the strings. The next variation will be also a great one for the synchronization, which is this. This is challenging for the synchronization of the right hand playing really fast the three notes and the left hand moving also in quick burst. For sake of practice, try to perform them as quickly as you can. The next upgrade is going to be doing the same, but with a slur. In this case, the synchronization is not that challenging, but you will need to engage much more the speed and reaction of your left hand. In this one, pay special attention to have the rhythm of the slur accurate. Something like this would be wrong. So keep it regular. The next upgrade, what we will do is alter the direction of this note. So we will have. And you can do the same exercise we just mentioned, but with this schema. Now, of course, you can repeat all these variations in different strings. So you can do that all in one sitting or do different days, different strings if you don't have that much time. Just be creative with that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope that this exercise will actually be very helpful in your technique. And make sure to drop a like and subscribe to let me know that this content is very useful for you. So I will be uploading more of such videos in the future. Remember that you can grab your copy of the PDF with the exercises here in the link down below. As always, I wish you a great week, practice well, and I'll see you in the next one.